During the funeral of his father, Tywin Lannister, Jaime meets with Cersei in the Great Sept of Baelor. Jaime warns his sister that all the power and prestige their father built for House Lannister belongs to them now and that, once everyone sees that Tywin is truly dead, their enemies will do everything they can to take it away from them. Cersei bluntly states that their true enemy is Tyrion and that Jaime is partly responsible for Tywin's death since he was the one who released their father's murderer. He is left alone in the Sept, looking at his father's corpse and feeling guilty. Jaime is summoned by Cersei, who has received a gift from Dawn, an ornately carved viper, with Princess Marcella's unique Lannister pendant suspended from its fangs. Both siblings understand the gift as a threat from House Martell. Even though she is equally to blame for covering up their incest, Cersei lashes out at Jaime for not being a father to any of their children, to which he points out that if he had been, their children would be stoned in the streets. Jaime declares that he will bring Marcella home, but Cersei mockingly asks how a one-handed man can rescue a princess alone. Jaime tells her that he never said he was going alone. Later, Jaime goes to Castle Stokeworth in order to recruit Bronn on his mission to return Marcella to King's Landing. To convince him to go, Jaime reveals that Cersei has arranged for Willis Bracken to marry Lolly Stokeworth instead of Bronn, and offers him a much better girl than Lolly's and a much better castle once they return from Dawn. During the journey to Dawn, Bronn pushes Jaime for answers as to why he is rescuing Marcella personally instead of sending an army. Jaime responds that he does not want to start a war, but Bronn insinuates that he knows Marcella is actually Jaime's daughter and not his niece. He also warns Jaime on the impulsiveness of the Dornish people, and asks if Jaime set Tyrion free. Jaime claims it was Varys. Bronn asks Jaime to give Tyrion his regards should he see him again, but Jaime responds by saying that if he ever sees Tyrion again, he will kill him in revenge for their father. Not long after, Jaime and Bronn arrive in Dawn, where Bronn narrowly saves Jaime from being poisoned by a viper. As they make their way towards Dawn, they are discovered by Dornish soldiers and a fight ensues. Jamie personally duels one of the soldiers and holds his own with his left hand until he is disarmed. The man moves in to kill Jamie, who catches the blade in his metal hand and uses the distraction to get his sword and finish his opponent. Over Bronn's protests, Jamie insists that they bury the soldiers in order to avoid suspicions. Unbeknownst to either, Ilaria Sand and the Sand Snakes are aware that Jamie is coming for Marcella. Jaime and Bronn, disguised as Dornish soldiers, finally reach the water gardens and find Marcella with Tristane Martell. Marcella is understandably surprised to see her alleged uncle in Dawn, but as Jaime attempts to persuade his daughter to flee with him, they are attacked by the Sand Snakes, who plan to kill Marcella in order to force Prince Doran Martell into war with the Lannisters to avenge Oberon Martell's death. Jaime and Bronn fight with the Sand Snakes, with Jaime focused on Obara Sand, until Doran's bodyguard, Ario Hota, appears with a handful of Martell guards and orders them to stand down. Jaime is briefly mocked by Ario for his missing hand before he drops his weapon, and he, Bronn, the Sand Snakes and Ilaria Sand are all arrested. Jaime is locked up in a bedroom-like cell. Ario brings Marcella to visit him. Jaime tells her that the situation has grown dangerous and he needs to take Marcella back to King's Landing, though he fails to mention that it is because the Dornishmen seek to use her as a way to gain revenge for Oberon. She soundly rejects his advice and claims she wants to stay in Dawn and marry Tristane, before leaving him alone. Later, Jaime is escorted into the main apartments of the Water Gardens by Ario Hota, to be received by Prince Doran Martell in his solar, along with Ilaria, Tristane and Marcella. He comments on the nature of Marcella's clothes, suggesting that they are too revealing, covering this suggestion up by asking if she is cold. She rebuffs this, stating that she is suited to the Dornish climate. Doran asks Jamie why he has snuck into Dawn to abduct Marcella back to King's Landing. He says he feared for her safety, but when Doran insists as to why he didn't just send a letter by Messenger Raven, he explains that they received a threatening message, Marcella's Lannister lion pendant jammed in the mouth of dead viper. Jamie asks if Doran intends to behead him, but he says that he will not, because he wishes to avoid war. Doran insists that for the alliance between the Iron Throne and Dawn to continue, the engagement of Tristane and Marcella must stand, and Tristane will simply take his uncle Oberon's place on the small council. Jaime finds Doran's request entirely reasonable, and Marcella is ecstatic that she will not be separated from Tristane, so Jaime agrees. Alaria later visits Jaime in his quarters and pretends to make amends with him, 
acknowledging that neither he nor Marcella played any part in Oberon's death, but expresses her knowledge that Marcella is not Jamie's niece, but his daughter. Before leaving, she mocks him for not being born centuries ago into the Targaryen family, in which position his incest would have been accepted. Jamie, Bronn, Marcella and Tristain say their farewells to the Martells to return to King's Landing. Upon saying goodbye, Alaria Sand kisses Marcella on the lips. Aboard the ship, Marcella and Jamie talk about Cersei. Jamie begins to come clean to Marcella, awkwardly telling her that one cannot choose who he, she loves. Marcella then reveals that she knows that Jamie is her real father, and that she is glad that he is, and the two embrace. However, Marcella's nose starts to bleed and she collapses and dies in Jamie's arms, a victim of poison from Ilaria's kiss. 